There is this one lens that you should be using because it makes your videos look so good. Using the right lens makes all of the difference. So in this video, I'm going to share with you everything you need to know about this lens. And yes, this video is only three minutes because there is no point for me to repeat all the specifications. I don't want to waste your time. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check out the specifications. And for now, let's go back to the video. The lens that I'm talking about and that I'm filming with right now is the Sigma 16mm f1.4 lens, which is an APS-C lens. In terms of exterior, this lens is pretty lightweight, it's easy to carry around and the focus ring is so smooth and the focus itself is incredibly fast. The Sony a6600, the camera that I'm filming with right now, has insane eye autofocus in video mode and the Sigma lens is able to keep up. In my experience, especially during the daytime, the autofocus is really fast and really great. At night I've noticed that it needs like an extra second if I want to focus on a closer object and let the camera do the work. But then when I turn the camera to an object or in this case my cat that's a little bit farther away it doesn't have any issues with focusing on that. Overall I think of this lens is great and the fact that it takes a little bit longer in nighttime is not a deal breaker for me personally. The Sigma 60mm is a prime lens which means that it has a fixed vocal length which just means that you cannot zoom with this lens. This can be a downside for example when you're vlogging. When I'm vlogging I like to use a zoom lens because I like the versatility of a zoom lens but what you do get with a prime lens is sharpness. And this lens is really really sharp. When I compared this to my Sony 24mm on my full frame camera I was like whoa this is a great lens. The sharpness of this lens is great but when it comes to filming we also like a very blurry background right? So can this lens do that? If you've ever watched a video or you've seen a photo with extremely creamy blurry background and you thought it was Photoshop, it's not. It's the lens. And it's actually one of my favorite features about this lens. The blurry background that you see in videos and photos is also known as bokeh and this lens, because it has an aperture of f1.4, can create amazing bokeh. However, if you want to achieve that bokeh during the daytime, you will see that your video is completely overexposed. So for that reason, I recommend a really nice variable ND that I'll put in the description. Another important factor that you want to consider when you're looking at a wide angle lens is the level of distortion. With some lenses the distortion is really bad but in this case with the Sigma in my opinion the distortion is kept to a minimum the vignetting is also kept to a minimum it is visible but not that much it doesn't bother me at all a wider aperture or a lower number in this case f1.4 is not just great for bokeh but it's also great if you shoot things at night or if you shoot at events a lower number behind the f means that more light can come into the lens I love this because it makes the lens a lot more versatile you cannot just use it during the day but you can also use it during the night. If you're like Sigma, please take my money. There's a link in the description so you can get the lens right away. And if you want to learn more about the camera that I'm using with this lens, then please make sure to check out my review right here. And of course, please consider to hit subscribe and like this video.